Now, earlier we have looked at an example with, which have a big number and we convert it into a standard form. What if I did the opposite? I have a very small number and I want to change it to standard form. How do I do that? Okay, now let me give you an example over here. 0 0.00007, all right? Now this is a rel relatively a small number, but how do I take this and change it to a standard form? Right, the rules are the same as a big number, okay? So what we did in a big number, we have looked at the whole number and we have point out where's the decimal point first and that will be the end, right? So we will do the same thing over here. This is my decimal number and we will locate the location of the decimal point, which is over here, all right? So this over here will be my end, right? Okay, so the next thing is I will draw the box of my numbers. So in this case, the only number that I will draw the box to will be the number 7. Okay, now the next part is I need to find my starting point. Where should I put the decimal point in this 7 to satisfy this range? All right, let's, do, let's take a look at this number 7. All right, there are two locations that I can put. It's either on the left. Or on the right. Now let's see in both conditions, all right? So what if you choose from here? Okay, let's see what happened. Now, if we put the decimal point over here, if we take this down, we will get point 0.7, right? Point 0.7. Now when we see point 0.7, what does it mean, right? Point 0.7 over here has the same meaning of zero, Point seven, okay? Now let's take a look. If I put my decimal point here, it means 0 0.7, right? Okay, so which means you are actually including this zero as well, all right? So let's take a look over here. 0 0.7, does it, does it fulfill this range? The smallest number that a standard form can go to, it's one. So 0 0.7 is less than 1, so that's not accepted, right? So where is the correct location for the decimal point? So it, in this case, it should be on the right-hand side, right? From the right-hand side, what do we see over here? So let's take this down. We can see this as 7 point, right? Now, 7 point, what does it mean? It has the same meaning of 7.0, which is 7. Now, if you look at 7, it fulfills the requirement of this range, right? So, putting the decimal point on the right, okay, will be the correct location. Now, having done that, so we know that that is our starting, all right, that is our starting position. Now, all we need to do is go from the start to the end, like, and we check how many decimal points do we have to jump. So let's check. So in this case, our start is from the right, and we will end from the left. So we will be jumping left-hand side. So let's see how many steps do we have to jump. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, if you notice, we have went left-hand side, all right? for six steps. Now, think about this, right? In like in a number line, when we go to the right-hand side, it's positive six. When we go to the left-hand side, it's gonna be negative six, all right? In our, our number line, when we go to the left-hand side, it's negative, right? So again, with all this information, how do we write this in standard form? So it's gonna be written as like this. So it's gonna be seven. All right, that's our value of A. We are going to multiply 10. That's the format of the standard form. And the power over here is going to be negative 6. All right, that is how we write our answer all right, in standard form. Now, another example over here. 
let's just say I have 0 0.000705 okay now very similar over here we just have to look at the number and identify right where is the decimal place first so in this case this is my decimal number and my decimal number is here and this is what I call my n right and over here the next thing that I want to identify is the number that will make up my a so which one's the number in this case it will be 705 all right because these are the numbers okay and since zero is between two numbers over here so this zero is included as well all right the next thing is from this box I want to put a decimal point to make my a which satisfied this range so by now you should be able to guess so it should be over here all right if we take down the number it will be 7.05 Okay, so this over here, that will be my start, right? The next thing we have to do is to calculate how many decimal places that we have to jump from the start to the end. So in this case, we have to go one, two, three, four. Four steps, right? Okay, I have to jump four steps to the left. We have to go four steps to the left since we are going to the left hand side so it's going to be a negative number so with all this information how do we write this answer in standard form how do we write this number in standard form so it's going to be written as 7.05 times 10 to the power of negative 4 right and that is how we do standard form.